How much were people because I had someone on who was a bodyguard of Diana or Doddy. Yeah. And um, they used to get a million pounds a photo for an exclusive of Princess Die. Yeah, it yeah. must have been about the same for Michael Jackson. Huh? I'll tell you a story for this then, right? So yeah, the the fee for so the big tabloid at the time would offer News of the World, it was a million pound for any paparazzi you could get a picture of Mike what you know, anything unusual, especially his kids. And that was the thing. So I was, uh, where the hell I was I? I was in London and I went to visit one of my martial arts schools actually on the way back in Uxbridge. And on the way back, I had a reporter call me and they said, listen, we know you're really close to Michael. You'll be seeing him next week. I'll give you, we will offer you a million pounds. We'll give you half up front and half. Also, if you get pictures of the children unmasked, just one shot, that's it. I was like, you can f off, do one, no chance. I didn't need the money. I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't do that to my friend. Put the phone down. Now I remember to myself, I thought, God, I've got, make, I've got to make sure I tell Michael. I tried getting hold. I couldn't get to Mike. His number changed all the time. I've got to wait for him to ring me back because he gets harassed all the time and he's flying all over the place. So I left a message with PA and I said, can you get Michael to ring me urgently? Um, he didn't ring me. He didn't ring me. I saw him in, in person and we're, I was in, in the car with him. We're being driven to a meeting. And um, he said, Matt, how's life? I said, good. Anything happened recently you want to tell me about? No. Nah. Oh, Michael, I forgot to tell you. I've had this journalist call me and they offer a million pounds for um, pictures of the kids. Be careful. They got a ransom out, tried to convince me to take the money. Just want to be transparent, we let you know. Good man. Matt, you're such a lovely guy. You're so loyal. I said, why? Said, that was me, buddy. That was me. I put a voice on. It was me speaking to you. Yeah, I thought I was talking to a poor. I was talking to Michael. He put a voice on. He's so good. He's he can act. He could do everything. He could change his voice and stuff. And I said, "You, okay, you got me." You know, that's fucking mad, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. He tested. Yep, he tested yeah. me. He tested yeah, my yeah, loyalty. Yeah, yeah. I had to because he's doing paranoid as fuck. Yeah, he tested. He tested me. Yeah, like I say, it's unbelievable. One that of his entourage said he couldn't trust Matt for that. He couldn't trust him. So he put a test on me. He put yeah. a voice on, and he had this thing. Um, that we had this device. So whenever he'd answer the phone, it'd be like a robot sound. And then when he realized it's really genuine, me or one of his mates, he'd switch it and he'd, he'd talk to you just so, just in case of someone trying to stitch him up on the mm. phone line or something, you know? I mean, the funniest thing, prankster man in New York and we were going to watch Toy Story 2, I think it was. And Michael said, go and meet me in the underground car park. I said, yeah, no problem. I said, dress down, Mike, so you don't get recognized because it'll be chaos. We weren't shutting down the cinema. So I'll go in the, the, the uh, we call it the chase car and michael would normally sit on me with me in the chase car and let the media think he was the one in front so we a bit more safety there he took flipping ages and finally michael comes in and sits next to me and he's got his face mask on the fedora dangerous tall world jacket the loafers or everything you would see michael jackson as he has it on i'm like mike i thought you'd try not to be recognized he's like, ah what's it about you in a bit of a mood today and then um he started driving and i thought Asked a few questions. I got a few one-word answers. I thought, God, are you all right? You're a bit grumpy. Did you get more sleep? So I hope you get better maybe by the time we get to Toy Story, get to the theatre. And we started circling the, um, it's normal. We'd circle around and do a recce, we call it first, before we get Mike out. And um, my phone goes, my mobile goes, and it, Michael said, you better get that. It's from a withheld number. I answer the phone. Hey, Matt. Hi. Gotcha. Ah, it was Michael. Freaking body double next to me. It was body double next to me. He's like, the guy was on like a salary to divert attention. He was already at the movies waiting for me. See, his hair was that all wigs then? Did his hair start falling out? Ah, he well, he wore wigs. They they were in his room, but he, it's because of the um the bun, the bun. Yeah, the sad in it as well. Like I say, if it took me goes. years to work that out. He used to, I must have been stupid or something because he, in the morning he'd have a different hairstyle, <laughs> and the afternoon he'd come out, and his hair would be longer. I don't know why. I just thought he had a great hairstylist, but. To me, weird. We, I didn't obviously ask him about the wigs, but yeah, mm. I, I saw them in the end. I, I got yeah. it. It's due to the burn. Yeah.